Hi, I'm Tom with TQ2 MTB Bike Parts and Wrenching. And guess what? We're going back to tubes. Alright, we're doing an unboxing here. Tannis Tires was kind enough to set me up with their, their armor inserts. I know you're thinking I'm crazy for not being tubeless, but I've seen reviews and I've seen videos and these are what's up. It's a new product. And uh, I'm going to try it out. It's going on the Epo. Uh, hardcore hardtail. And it, it's pretty dense. It's actually a lot denser than I thought it would be. Sidewalls are a little thinner. But it's supposed to be almost like suspension for your tires. And it keeps, uh, keeps you from flattening. I'm going to get the spank. 350 Vibracore rims with the King Hubs laced up, and they're going to go in the Epo. So I got to take the old tires off, get the, the uh, orange seal out of them, clean them up, and then we're going to start from scratch. If you have any questions or comments, drop me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. Let me get a few rides on them, and I'll let you know what I think. All right, I got to get going, get these things inserted. Pull the valve core, get these tires off, get them cleaned up, and get these inserts in. Alright, inserts went in, took me about 10 minutes a piece. Wasn't too bad. I did figure out that if I sprayed my uh, bike wash, a little Dawn dish soap and water, it uh, popped down the bead a lot, a lot better second time around. So um, I can't wait. I got new rubber. New inserts on a new bike. We're going to take this hardtail and see what she can do. See you on the trail.